firstly we've got the Fist Hollow Dark Crobat. Um, not one of the main hitters from this car, but you can see this one has a lovely swirl there, just above the Pokemon's head. Now, the hollow, it's diff always difficult to tell with these clean hollows, on, these dark hollows on camera, sorry, but this is very nice and clean. Beautifully, beautifully clean card. Um, it's well censored on the front, there's no obvious damage or smudges that I can see. So, if we go to the back, you can see there is a little bit of whitening here on the edge um, a little bit on corner here and here and at the bottom there is it's very difficult to see but there is a bit of a frayed edge here so i don't know maybe an eight this so maybe it would have a chance at a nine but i'd say probably an eight but definitely a near mint card which would fetch a good price uh, which will fetch a good price in an auction, sold raw, a lovely card for a binder set. So, next one, we've got the Dark Dawn fan, and I think this one maybe has a bit of scratching just here on the hollow, it's not particularly bad, um, but actually could be, some of these cards, some of these ho hollows have like a rain effect, like as if the whole artwork was designed with it raining, Rocket Sapdos is one, so it could just be that. But still, pretty nicely centered card. Um, another nice artwork. So again, if we look at the back, and this one isn't as good. So you can see there's some pretty clear whitening here. Um, and there's a bit more at the bottom here. And on this corner. And on this corner. So I'd say this and up the side. So I'd say this is a white plate card. This to me is not a mint. Definitely not, not worth sending off to PSA. Oh, we get, start to get into the big hitters now, and there are a lot of them in this set. Um, an absolutely incredible artwork here with the Dark Espeon. Um, and again, a nice swirl there, just on the side. So this one, I can see a bit of scratching on the hollow. Um, there is a little bit of silvering around the edge, but they don't always mark you down too low for that. So, but if we get to the back, this is definitely a white player card. You can see here, definite whitening. Um, some more whitening there. Um, and if you come down here, you can see some more. So definitely in the light play, not worth sending off, but a, die, a first edition Dark Espeon will always fetch a good price, however you sell it. Um, now, this one, one of the starters, the Dark for Alligator. Again, another stunning artwork. I think this set maybe had the best set of artworks of all. Um, this one is well centered on the front. Um, there's a some silver on the side. The hollow is nice and clean. Really nice and clean there. Um, if we get onto the back, this you can see a bit of whitening there. A um, little bit around the corner there, but nothing major. A little bit on the top there, specs. Um, and a bit around this corner and another dot there. So I think probably an eight, but similar to the Crobat, because the front is so clean and it's well centered, you might get away with a nine. Um so I may that one may go to PSA. There's a maybe pile here. Another of the parade of big hitters, popular Pokemon, Dark Gengar. Now this card is often quite easy to grade because you see the there isn't that much hollow to get scratched. So the big thing with these is often the hollow is scratched. So this one looks nice and clean. Um, it's a tiny, it's not terribly centered, but I think left to right on the front, it looks this side is a bit thicker than the other one. Um, top to bottom looks good. Um, so let's get to the back. Um, there is a bit of a smudge there. You can just see it. Um, maybe some of those will come off if you wipe them with a damp finger. So, but actually aside, well, actually no. So the left to right centering is definitely off here. So this side is considerably narrower than this side. So 
that would limit this card's grade quite a bit. Um, it's a shame because there's not much whitening at all on there. And if that smudge would come off, I think this would have a good chance of definitely a 9 otherwise. Um, but still, man, that might, I might still send that off because it's such a popular Pokemon. Even a 7 or 8 will get a good price. Um, next one. Now, this is a gorgeous artwork. Dark Houndoom. Look at that. The flames, and I think these are meant to be like vines that it's burning through here. Um, again, a very clean hollow, no swirl, but a very nice clean hollow here. Um, well, um, if well centered front, yep. Let's look at the back again, a little bit of whitening there, you can see a bit the. Nothing major, a tiny bit there. And then this, you know, a little bit around the corners, but nothing huge here. I mean, at the very least, I think that'd get an 8. I think it would have a decent chance at a 9. Uh, just, you know, any opportunity to have another look at this one. So, next one, Dark Porygon. Now, not the most popular of Pokemon, but the hollow on these is incredible that rainbow effect look at that again this, oh, there's a couple i'm not sure whether this is it's a scratch or a print line there's a couple of small scratches here which are very always very difficult to see um so i don't think this would get a nine it is well centered um a look at the back yeah there is a bit of white so you can see a bit of white in there around the corner, go over to the other side a bit more um, and on the top there you can see a speck there but yeah that's we're talking a few small issues here which is otherwise a very nice card very nice as a binder card this would be absolutely fantastic so you know I think that's probably still a near mint card um so dark scissor now this is i think this is pro looks to me might maybe the worst condition one of the lot um there are some there is yeah okay so there is can't quite tell but there is a crease a small crease here can't really see it on the camera you can see some um, so we're in on the front of it, so, so this is definitely the, so, right, so, it is a small crease, but when I'm selling, um, if there is any kind of crease on it, it is automatically heavy play, that's, even if the rest of the card is mint, it's automatically heavy play, now, there is some scratching on the hollow as well, um, Quite a bit of wear. So if we look on the back, so the back is probably in isolation light play. You can see some whitening around the corners. Um, nothing major, a bit more along the top there. Um, in the other corners, but my rule when selling is that any kind of crease, no matter how small or how thin, heavy play. Oh, okay, so next we've got the Typhlosion. Again, a Stunning artwork. I think fire types often have the best artwork full stop, maybe along with dark. But look at that. A gorgeous card. Absolutely gorgeous. Now the hollow is really clean on this. You can get it in a bit closer. Um the front is pretty well centered. It's not perfect from left to right, but it's not bad. It's very good from top to bottom. Um, but there we so if we get to the back, you can see you can see here there is a small smudge here. But again, some of these, a lot of these will just with a damp finger just wipe it and it will come off. Um, I think the bigger issue with this one is the left to right cent centering is off. So this side is considerably thicker than this side. Um, which would limit the grade I think you maybe would still there's a 
bit of whitening there, but nothing much. But out, it's really only the centre in here. There's a white spot there, but I think I think this is probably an eight because of the centre in. But again, you may because the front is so good, you would maybe have a chance of the nine again. Definitely not a ten though. So and yeah, the net another of this parade of heavyweights, that Tyranitar. So again, a fantastic condition hollow here. Like the so the holes on some of these are absolutely pristine. Oh, unfortunately not a swirl, that would have been nice. Um again front centering, top to bottom is really good. Left to right is a tiny bit thicker here, but nothing major. Um so if we look at the back. So we've got a really nice condition back, some small amounts of whitening. Um, but again, the set it's the centering. This side is a fair amount narrower. I'll try and get that in there. So this side is a fair amount narrower than this side on the left to right. Um, it's not terrible, and it might still be enough for a nine. Um, but it's not perfect either. So next one and one of the best Pokemon card artworks ever. Light Arcanine. You can see we've got a nice little swirl there. And this look at the way that pops, like those flowery effects on the hollow in the background. Um if any of you have seen Game of Thrones, they kind of look like a Tyrell Rose. So Gorgeous hollow, gorgeous card. So you see this one actually again, the front is really good. There's a tiny bit of silver in along the top, but again, PSA often don't mark you really down very much for silver in. So see uh, the back looks pretty clean. You can see a bit of white in there. Um, that corner's clean. That one's clean. You can see a bit of a mark on the top here, though. Yeah, there. You can see it. So that probably limits this. And again, the centering left to right on this one. I think this one is the worst of the lot. So this side is a lot thicker than this side. So this, I think, because of those two issues, will get an 8. But again, as a binder card you will struggle to find a better one. Absolutely stunning. So next one, Light Azamaril or Azumaril, depending on your accent. Um, often quite a difficult card to grade because there is a lot of hollow with this one. So again, something of a running theme, the hollow, uh, there's a small scratch there, but nothing major. Um, really nice condition front. Um, we've got a bit of uh, the edge isn't perfect along the top here, so look at that. But then the back on this one isn't amazing, so you can see there is a decent amount of whitening there. And if we go on the top, you can see some more here uh, and on one corner here. So I think this, I mean, this is maybe. St uh, it's maybe, and you could maybe get away the way with Nia Min, but I'd consider that to be like playing. I'd list it as that. Oh, next. Um, Light Dragonite. Again, an absolutely incredible piece of card art. Just look at that. Oh, we get another really clean hollow here. Um, well centered top to bottom, well centered left to right. There is a bit of silver in down this side, but nothing major. Um, let's go on to the back, and this one is actually pretty clean. So you can see a bit of whitening there, but the other corners are really nice. A tiny dot, but nothing major. Um, and what lets this down is what let, let's let a few of these down, unfortunately. Um, the centering is a little bit off on the back, but yeah, it's not too terrible. It's, it's not as bad as some of the others. This so this, I think this would have a chance at a nine. So this one I probably will send off to PSA. 
and see what it gets. All right, another light. Next one, penultimate hollow is the light targetic. Now these are very hard to grip because there's so much hollow to get scratched that you see. Compare how much hollow there is there to that of the Gengar. So much more opportunities for scratching. And a lot of these colourless Watsi hollows have real issues with cards scratching up. Um, Blissey from Neo Revelation is one. Lugia from Neo Genesis is another. Um, but this is really clean. Um, again, a little bit of silver down the side. Um, turn it over and pretty clean this. Um, some little bit of whitening there, nothing major, tiny bits. But you know, this is a really, really nice card. So I think this one, let's have another look at this. I think this one probably will be sent off to PSA. I'm absolutely gorgeous. So the last and then the last of the hollow. So Miracle Energy, least valuable hollow in the set, and similar to the coolest Pokemon, these special energies like Rainbow Energy and Metal Energy are very difficult to grade in a ten because all this hollow to get scratched. But you can see there's an obvious problem with this one, and it's that staining there at the top. That so it is a stain, it, it can feel it doesn't feel like damage. So, I mean, to me, that's probably heavy play immediately. Any kind of damage, probably heavy play. But I think without that, the rest of the card is near mint. So, you see a bit of white in that side there, that corner, and at the opposite there. But again, without that staining, this will at least be near mint. Um, let me know, do you think that automatically puts it down to heavy play or would it maybe move, could it maybe get away with moderate play? Um, so to me that's heavy play anyway. So that's all the hollows. I've picked out a, sort of half a dozen of the other non holes so I'll have a look at them. So Dark Slow King, again a, an incredible piece of artwork. Um, who's the artist on this one? Come here. Tomokazu Kamiya, um, and if we look at the back, this is in very nice condition. Very nice condition back. Um, I think that would be a PSA 9 with a shot at a 10. I don't think you can ever say it will be a PSA 10. So anywhere, anybody who ever says this is a PSA 10, I'm sorry, they've never graded cards, they're a liar. Um, it's very hard to get a 10 um, and anybody who tells you that otherwise is not being truthful with you so but that's very nice condition White Dragonair probably the most popular of the non hollows maybe or maybe the evolutions are um, again this one you can see the top to bottom centering on the front is not great so this is a very thick top border compared to the bottom. Um, but again, if we go to the back, nice condition. A couple of small amount of whitening. A um, bit of a speck there. I think this is probably an 8, PSA 8. So I don't think I will be sending this one off. I think I will be auctioning this one. Um... So, yeah, I don't think that one will be going off. Um, that's another one of the rares, like my champ. Um, now, this one is nicely centered. The left, top to bottom is very good. Left to right isn't perfect, but isn't bad either. Um, let's go to the back. Um, you can see the tops, but if you look, there is a bit of whitening around here at the bottom. Bit of whitening there. Um, this might still be a PSA 9 actually, because it's not much, it's more the edge isn't perfect rather than actual whitening. Is it? But then, it's this corner here is whether this will qualify as corner damage. So PSA are really strict on that. It's something that you can often get If that qualifies as corner damage, then this couldn't get more than a 7. So I think I probably won't risk sending that off if it's not worth. It will get a really nice price at auction, so... 
probably not worth doing. Um, let's we'll have a look at the evolutions. Light Flareon here. Again, um, it's becoming a theme, but the artworks in this set are unbelievably good. Um, the centering on this one, so the left to right centering is not perfect. Um, if you look, this side is quite a bit thinner than this side. Um, if we yeah, if we turn that over, there is a decent amount of whitening there near the bottom corner, as you can see. Um, and a little bit more on the other bottom corner. So this, I this is not gradable, but I'd may, I'd pro I would lift this as the light play. I think some people would call this near mint, but to me that much whitening is light play. Oh, penultimate card here, light Jolteon. Again, the artwork. Absolutely incredible with the um, Togepi and its uh, Rattata there, isn't it? So this one, again, the centering is a bit off. And if there is, a, you can just see that sort of white there. It's a bit of edge wear on the front. Um, so if we flip this one over, you can see whitening around the corners there um, and at the top. You have to excuse me there. Um, if there is a slightly strange cut in the middle of the video, um, a delivery man turned up at my door in the middle of filming. So, just one of those things, really. So, but anyway, this is the last card we're going to be looking at, and it's the Light Vaporeon, final of the three evolutions. Now, this one is again on the front, so the bottom is a little bit thicker than the top, but the light to ref, what, well, right to left. It's very well centered. Um, if we look at the, you can see there is a decent amount of white in there. And on the other side, if we look at the, yeah. So there is some white. So that to me again is light play. So that's not gradable. So, so we have got a couple of ones that may go off to PSA there. Now, this video I'm intending to post on the 7th of October. So if you're watching this and it's just been posted, any cards that are not being sent off to grade to be graded will be going live on my eBay on the 8th of October, ending on the 15th, all as auctions. So there'll be an eBay link to the eBay below in the description of the video. So click on that. Um, leave me your thoughts on what you whether you disagree with me on any of those cards or not, and whether you think any others should be sent off. Um, leave a like, leave a comment and hopefully we'll get back get back to you with another video with a different collection to look at thanks for watching